Hello guys, my name is Andy from Mooncake Visual and this time in this series of videos we're gonna you're gonna see an overview of the workflows I use to get my sets done on on real engine. So we're gonna go from the exporting from the 3D software in my case which is Blender to Unreal Engine and then lighten it, do some basic chroma keying and also some blueprinting. But that's just basic stuff, it's an overview so you can understand. Um, okay, so the first thing when I decided to create like a set, I just started by a concept. Okay, this time let me make a sort of weather show. Okay, I started by creating the logo in Inkscape, which is a really good free software <laughs> for creating vectors, and that's the one I use for my graphic design and stuff. Uh, there you go. So I just created this logo for the show, and then I created a set based on that. Okay. So, uh, Blender is my main 3D modeling software, which is another, which is basically a free software as well. Uh, I love that. I love that program a lot. Uh, okay, so something you need to know is that this is not a modeling course because it's just an overview of my workflow. But if you want to get this set just to use for your purpose or just for whatever, you can you can get it on my Gumroad page. And with that, it's just a way that you can support the channel. You can support me because um, I'm planning on upgrade my system so I can work on best quality and that's it. So I can continue delivering video for you. But if you want uh, some sort of modeling course, you can leave it in the comment and I will do my best so I can we can create a, this type of set from scratch and the whole course, okay? Just leave it a comment. I'm going to export and just go to file. There's an add-on from Blender. You need to install and enable it. So I'll go to export and you choose Datasmith. Okay. I'm going to choose to Unreal Datasmith since I just made some changes and I'll export it. Name could be whatever. It's just that I, I previously exported it and then uh, I just made some changes and I'm going to export it again. So I export. Then the will freeze for a bit. And then when it finished, it'll be back. There we go. So, I already exported my set, and now it's time to go to our real engine. So, back in our real engine. Uh, okay, first thing you need to do, since it's just using the Datasmith stuff, you need to enable the Datasmith plugin by going to Edit Plugins. You go to the built in, and you, you type Datasmith. It's in the, you see Datasmith and Potter. So, there, there are many Datasmiths. You choose the one that you feel more comfortable with. In this case, we're gonna use just the data smith one. Okay, I just created a blank, a whole blank template. I didn't choose any any of the template. I just created a blank and that's it. Okay, what we're gonna do is in content. I uh, in content I, I already got my my folder set, and then I'm gonna click in data smith, and then I'm gonna look for my data smith file, and I choose it. It will ask me where I want it, where I want it to be saved. I just choose the folder and hit OK. I will just want the geometry and the materials and, tex and textures. I don't want live cameras or animation. And then I import it. Oh, there we go. So you already imported my scene. Oh, there was some issues. Let me check the lab. Uh, it's very reflection. Oh, that was because you know I had some reflection cube map, cube map in Blender and the reflection plane. It can just ignore it. So it's compiling my shaders, but in the meantime with the compiler, you can go ahead and you can see that I got my set here already. So let's wait for the sh shaders to let's wait for the shaders to be compiled. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> Looking good. Like it. Um. Uh, okay. So you can see I got this geometry here. All this material needs. It's to be tweaked. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just delete it. Even though I delete it from here, I'll be. I'll get this here in geometry. You see, it's here. I can just drag and drop anytime I need it. But I'm just delete it because I don't want them to be there. So in this time, I'm gonna choose those lights. There we go. So there we go. There we have an our scene. So okay. Now what I'm gonna do is. I'm gonna try to fix some materials. Let me see it. I 
just take a white color which is one and stick that white color and just multiply it and then I just convert to parameter it will be intensity there we go and then I just convert this parameter as well color and then I just multiply this by this and there we go so I just put in mystic color and there we go glass hey <laughs> one of the materials that take the most to to compile when it's deferred so with you data smith what when you when it export a material it tries to like when the material has a sort of procedural treatment it tries to emulate that procedure to recreate I'm sorry the material using it tried to recreate the the material in Unreal as well so because the if you go to blender and you check my my glass shader the little glass you see that it got some some changes back there so it tried to it tried to recreate those in Unreal but in this case I will use it I will just make it a tweakable simple glass so you said tell it one I just add a scala parameter, which is a number by pressing S, I use roughness, and then uh, I got the base color, I convert it to parameter, main color, and also the opacity, I make a scala parameter, opacity, set this to opacity, refraction as well, refraction. There we go. And also just the final step is just to make it in light mode surface forward shading. And just let's wait an eternity for it to compile. <laughs> okay, so it just already compiled. Uh, I guess this 2020 yet? <laughs> it looks like it is yet. Okay, so we got here our glass. Uh, let's go to the glass instance. Let's just if the opacity is 0 0.8, refraction is 1, so let's roughness is 0 0.02, and then save, and there we go. So let's see, okay, let me just 0 0.0, opacity 0 0.2, save, there you go. So you got a glass here. So that's it for that video. We got our set here and our materials so i'm gonna tweak all the materials so, so it's ready for the next video the next video we're gonna be working with lighting and reflection and some sort of like post processing so i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you liked it please subscribe to the channel or share it if you like uh, remember that you can get the set files from the gum you can buy them from the gumroad account so you can support the channel with that and you can support me. So see you in the next video.